Shifting Landscapes is a virtual site that recreates the Galliere House in New Orleans and allows you to follow the story of Lorette and learning what it was like to experience slavery in an urban setting in New Orleans in 1850 through 1860. The Galliere House is a 19th century gorgeous mansion that actually you have to imagine coming in there in a carriage. Um, you have to open a large gate, you would disembark, the carriage would pull forward. You'd walk then into the door, into the main entryway, where you would see just enormous tapestries, rare rugs, extraordinary European furniture. This experience was about being the rich and famous of the early 19th century. They're all aspiring to kind of the experience of this, this urban enslavement where people um, celebrate their wealth and they bring their friends over and they're having dinner in, in what I find is the best part of the virtual tour is the dining room where there's art on display, there's extraordinary china, um, rare utensils with sterling silver. That is the way people imagined what the original American lifestyles of the rich and famous would be. So in this period, the experience of living in urban slavery is probably brought to life in ways most people saw in the film Django Unchained. In this case, the enslaved workers who lived here had enormous flexibility about how their days went. Make no mistake, they were still enslaved, they were still someone else's property. But by being able to walk the French Quarter, by being able to tour Congo Square, they enjoyed a different kind of experience within slavery than you could find in other places like Charleston or Richmond, Virginia. Lorette is, is a young woman working as a domestic servant in the Galliere house. She is primarily responsible for maintaining the image of wealth and extraordinary affluence that the Galliers wanted to cultivate on the site. When you go up onto the veranda during the tour and then you start to see where the enslaved people lived, this is, for me, some of the most valuable preservation work, is that you see that the rooms are not ornately decorated. These are done in a way that's it's extraordinarily minimalist. But within that, you see there's still a dignity about how the space is kept. There's still this idea that, okay, I, I don't control so much in my life, but in this space where I sleep, where I find privacy, this is where there is some dignity for folks who are, are held as property in this setting. We hope the user gets from this experience the understanding of a history that hasn't been told, that you'll be able to find perspective and raise new questions and find new answers that weren't available before this exhibit was available. So as you walk through and you think about the preconceived notions of enslavement, that you start to challenge and grow your perspective and see the world in a different way.